Cheers. Have you seen this shirt before? This is usually where Flea chimes in and says, you're wearing a flag. And it's like, no, it's not a flag. Clearly, there are more than 50 stars on this bad boy. And only five stripes, give or take. This shirt's from my parents. My in-laws. My uh, father-in-law has a similar style shirt, and he's had it for quite a while. And when I first saw him in it, I went crazy. His looks more like a flag of Texas, by the way. It's like one big star and half. And So one day, one year, for my birthday, I got this bad boy, and it's super awesome. This particular lapel pin I got eons ago when I still bought records and CDs on Usenet, specifically Rec Arts Music Marketplace, I think. I already have to burp. <laughs> Pardon me. And one of the guys I bought a CD from included this pin. And I've always kind of wanted to get more of them, but it's one of those deals where, like, you know, there's no way. You can't do it. Although there are all sorts of emoticon buttons you can get on Amazon. But none quite like this one in this shade of pink with this perfect semicolon winking smiley face. That's the story of my lapel pain. Hey, it's, uh, wow, it's Tuesday. It doesn't feel like a Tuesday because no one is here. No one is working. It's 6.02 p.m. It's only 94 degrees. Oh my God, it was so hot. 1.30 a.m. I went downstairs to check. The indoor temperature and the outdoor temperature were the same. 86. Not right. Not cool. Literally and figuratively. It's hot. So we hold up in the uh, in the bedroom all night, which is fine. There was a marathon of slam dunk contests on NBA TV. So we watched the they got they got the 79 ABA dunk contest whittled down to 15 minutes. They show the entire contest in 15 minutes. Those are really good. Those early ones, except the commentators. Not that having. Kevin Harlan and whichever clowns are doing it that year. Kenny Smith has got to stop doing the dunk contest. But they had just, you know, some really old white guys. And then they graduated to Rick Barry, like Rick Barry would know a thing about dunking. But that other guy, John, I don't even remember his name now, but he was just, oh, I would give him a nine on that one. Oh, I would give him a ten on that one. Very silly. So we saw Larry Nance do the upset, Spud Webb win, uh, Michael Jordan won one, and somewhere in there I fell asleep. I actually fell asleep during the Michael one, so I, I didn't see that, that one really, and I didn't see the next one. Was Dominique winning again, right? Or was it? I can't remember. But you could tell, you could kind of tell Howard Stern was like starting to flex his muscle because like the 85 one, they're all wearing gold chains. And Jordan did the first round in his warm-ups. He finally eventually switched to his uniform. And then you see the 86 one? No one's wearing a chain. So you can tell that Stern had outlawed chains because that's what he does. He, he won't let them be themselves. As I follow a lot of basketball players on Twitter now, you do get that sense that some of these dudes maybe need that hammer fist structure in their life because when they're on their own on Twitter I wonder who's going to get Michael Beasley by the way I'd love to see him stay on the Timberwolves but it ain't going to happen I know the Lakers want him 
I think the Mavericks are interested. The Mavericks are also interested in uh, who's the other one that's, that we didn't give any offer to? Anthony Randolph. So it would be neat to see Randolph and Beasley end up on the same team. But it would also be neat to see them stay Timberwolves. Randolph might stay a Timberwolf. I don't know. Greg Steamsmith, who was a Timberwolf for one game, during which he was proclaimed inactive, and that was the highlight of his Timberwolf career, uh, visited, and there's a good chance he will rejoin the Timberwolves next year. That's kind of interesting. Steamsma was picked up, I guess, to be Al Jefferson's rehab partner during the summer. So he was on the roster for that one game at the end of the season, and then he was there through the summer, and then he... Uh, I don't know if he was waived or he ended up somewhere, but you may recognize him as a Boston Celtic last year. But he is a Wisconsin product, so it would be interesting to bring him back. He's got the geographical fit and the probably the mentality fit. I didn't mean to talk so much about basketball. That's just how it turned out. The 4th of July is tomorrow. It's going to be hot. They're saying it may hit 100. It may hit 103. I may not leave the house again. I like fireworks. I like going out and watching fireworks, but I like staying at the house, too. It's a tough one. CBS always plays the Boston fireworks, and it was really fun when Craig Ferguson was hosting them, but he's not. They got, like, Toby Keith to do it last year. And this year they got, like, Michael Chiklis. I hope Michael Chiklis is going to sing. I think there's also some country music star with him as well. Today's high, unofficially, 98. So... A respite from yesterday. A respite? A respite. Mm. A respite. Apparently there were some really high winds and thunderstorms last night that I didn't hear. It. But when I got up to pay the price for eating Little Caesars, you know what I mean, uh, it was damp outside and wet, and it was 68, and I was really happy. So I opened all the windows. And then by the time I got up, it was already back to 86, so... Not what good did that do? Well, it cooled the temperature in the house by two degrees because the thermostat said 84 instead of 86. How happy I was. In fact, it may have been down to 82. I don't know. After 80, I kind of stopped paying attention. But I ran our number two air conditioner all day. So hopefully when Kim got home, First of all, she didn't turn on the number one air conditioner and blow the fuse, and maybe the house felt cooler also. I won't know until I get home, and i got to get home soon because there's a Super Smackdown Live, which means a second night in a row of me tweeting way too much and annoying all the people who hate the wrestling tweets. But you love the wrestling tweets, which is why you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, at CRZ. I had one comment on Friday that I forgot to pick up on. And it was on YouTube, which is why I forgot about it, because I'm, I'm not used to seeing those comments on YouTube. But I was talking a little bit about something, something nostalgic. And someone called Mo Town, which we all know is Modesto, not Detroit, commented saying, Shakey's Mojo Potatoes, Roundtable Pizza, Stick Shift Minivans, Togo's, I miss it all. This must be a mysterious person from my past who knew that my parents had one of the first Dodge Caravans and they insisted on a stick shift. And you could get a stick shift minivan in that time. So it's someone who maybe has been in my parents' car. A voice from my past. Who could it be? Will they tell me? Will they ever come back? Will they comment again? Now that I've mentioned this, will they? I'm sure it was me talking about the taters. Yeah, it was the taters from the South St. Paul chicken place. Mmm, man. I wonder if I get some chicken on the way home. I don't know. I'm not hungry. Went to Little Caesars last night. I love Little Caesars at the time, but, like, you pay for it for the next 24 hours. You know what I'm talking about. I got a comment on the W, and I'll pick that off. We'll make that the last thing before I sign off for my one-day vacation. We're talking about patriotic T-shirts, and Flea uh, picked up on the T-shirt theme saying that he suggested uh, a victim of the crossface T-shirt. Lee should know that the only victim of the crossface t-shirt we have is way too small for me and also owned by my wife, so you're not going to see me in that. Or perhaps the I Did It shirt. Now, I could wear that. Maybe I'll wear that on Friday. I'll probably pick out something patriotic for Thursday, but that is so far ahead I'm not even going to think about it. 
I got tomorrow off, so you will not see me until Thursday. Please, please enjoy Independence Day. And if you're not American, I got no time for you. But be safe with fireworks. Please, be safe with fireworks. And don't set them off near your dog's ear, please. Will you do that for me? Stay hydrated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you Thursday.